This is how Donald Trump speaks to accomplished women leaders. Americans who are also nice and easy. China. Nice and easy. Just relax. Blood coming out of her wherever. She's a waste of time. What a stupid question. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. You said you know, that why you might. Why don't you some... people act? You didn't hear me. That's why you used to work for the Times and now you work for somebody else. Look, let me tell you something. Thank Keep you your voice down, please. Spread. Keep your voice down. She's a nasty, vindictive, crazy. You know, she's a mess. Be nice. Sick woman. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's President. That's okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? But when it comes to Ghislaine Maxwell, the woman at the center of the international sex slavery ring run by his friend Jeffrey Epstein, this is what he has to say. I just wish her well, frankly. It's why so many Americans are wondering, just what does Maxwell have on Donald Trump? Why does he demean other women, but treat the head of an alleged sex slavering with respect? Does Donald Trump want Maxwell to keep quiet? America needs to know. The indictment of accused sex trafficker Ghislaine Maxwell reads, in some cases, Maxwell participated in the abuse herself. I just wish her well, frankly. Uh, I've met her numerous times over the years. She pretended to be a woman they could trust. All the while, she was setting them up to be sexually abused by Epstein, and in some cases, by Maxwell herself. I just wish her well, frankly. Uh, I've met her numerous times over the years. Maxwell would discuss sexual topics with the victim and undress in front of the victim or be present for sex acts. I just wish her well, frankly. A woman accused of being at the center of an international child rape ring and the president of the United States says, I just wish her well, frankly. Had enough? On November 3rd, it's time to return honor and dignity to the White House. Come on in, go inside. An invitation into Donald Trump's world from 1992 found in the NBC archives shows the future president welcoming Jeffrey Epstein to his Mar-a-Lago estate. The get-together more than a decade before Epstein pleaded guilty to prostitution charges in Florida. Both men are seen enjoying themselves, Trump pointing out women dancing in front of them. An apparently friendly encounter with a man the president is now looking to distance himself from. Well, I knew him like everybody in Palm Beach knew him. I had a falling out with him a long time ago. I don't think I've spoken to him for 15 years. Uh, I wasn't a fan. Epstein, who has pleaded not guilty to federal sex trafficking and conspiracy charges in New York, is fighting to be released from jail while he waits for his trial. His lawyers now offering an explanation for the most mysterious item uncovered in a search of Epstein's Manhattan mansion. An expired foreign passport revealed by prosecutors as they tried to convince a judge that Epstein is a serious flight risk. The passport appearing to show Epstein's photo, but under a different name. His residence listed as Saudi Arabia. Epstein's attorneys describing him as an affluent member of the Jewish faith now say he acquired the document from Austria in the 1980s for personal protection while traveling in the Middle East, adding it was only to be presented to potential kidnappers, hijackers, or terrorists should violent episodes occur. The explanation coming as one of Epstein's accusers called on other alleged victims to tell their stories. If you have already made the decision to come forward, thank you. If you have not, the time is now. Courtney Wilde first told authorities Epstein sexually abused her more than a decade ago and says she was kept in the dark about the secret deal he cut with federal prosecutors in Florida in 2007. My voice was muted by the same government that was supposed to protect me. Law enforcement officials across the country now working together as more women speak up, saying they too were victimized by Epstein.